Isn't it amazing how the people that tell everybody else to pull themselves up by the bootstraps and to take responsibility, but when it comes down to them, we have yet to see them in the last five centuries take responsibility for anything. This is an article that came out February 15th, 2018 in Mother Jones. Now Republicans are blaming sanctuary cities for the opioid plague. A month after linking the drug crisis to Medicaid, GOP lawmakers have a new scapegoat. And that's all it is. How about you need to get off of drugs and take responsibility for all of these drugs being in here? Because if it wasn't for all of these junkies out in the streets demanding the drugs, you wouldn't have so much of it here. The drugs are here because it's being demanded by the junkies and the dealers out here. Republicans in Congress have a new scapegoat for the country's opioid plague, undocumented immigrants. At a hearing on Capitol Hill Thursday, GOP lawmakers repeatedly claim that so-called sanctuary city policies are fueled, uh, fueling the drug plague, a theory that a number of experts say simply isn't true. I don't believe that's true either. I don't believe it's true either. Sanctuary cities are generally described as places that limit how local law enforcement work with federal immigrant and customs enforcement officials to help deport undocumented immigrants. Many Republicans fiercely oppose such policies and have sought to turn them into electoral wedge issues. We have heard countless stories of sanctuary practices and the havoc they wreck on public safety, national security, and the sanctity of the rule of law says Rep, um, I guess that's Rual Labrador, Chairman of the House Judiciary Subcommittee on Immigration and Border Security. Our public safety and our public health are tied to eradicating opioids, which can never be accomplished when the force multiplier, that is ICE, is sidelined. Okay, so they're claiming that sanctuary cities were the primary reason for the crisis. I don't believe that. Mm -mm. So were your doctors that overprescribed all of these opioids out here, were they from a sanctuary city? All of them? Get out of here. We are not here to discuss the underlying causes of the plague. And to be sure, this committee is not asserting that sanctuary policies have caused such an epidemic, he said. But the fight against opioids at the law enforcement level has asserted by our witnesses, written testimony greatly relied on strong federal partnership including partnerships with ICE. You know what they're doing? They're trying to take the blame off of each other and now put it on these Mexicans in these cities that they call sanctuary cities. They're squarely putting all of the blame for the opioids on them. So now they're ready to ignore all of the doctors that overprescribe to white people in this country and put it squarely on the Mexicans. You see how dirty and underhanded these people are. Anything to pin your shit on someone of color. Immigration isn't the first hot button political issue that Republicans have tried to link to opioids. Senate Republicans held a hearing last month in which they argued about Obamacare expansion of Medicaid the government's health uh, insurance 
program for the poor was worsening the plague. Experts reject that theory too. So it's the poor fault, it's the immigrants in sanctuary cities fault. You notice they never say we need to take responsibility for this plague happening. Because it's really their issue. It was their doctors that wrote all these scripts and overprescribed. So it's really the fault of the community that those doctors were from. You're the ones that should be dealing with that. But no, it's it's Medicaid's fault. It's Mexicans' fault. The illegals, it's everybody else's fault. At Thursday hearing, law enforcement officers claimed that while heroin and other illicit drugs often come from Mexico, sanctuary policies prohibit cops from asking about alleged drug dealers, immigration status, or contacting ICE. The policies are creating a safe haven for criminality, said Jackson County, Texas. Sheriff A.J. Louderback, Louderback, okay, whatever. Wherever sanctuary policies exist, your law enforcement is not able to or permitted to cooperate, communicate, or partner to fight crime as a team. You know, it's amazing. Don't you find it amazing that it is important to fight crime for cops whenever they're in a situation with non-white people? You ever hear them talking about fighting crime in their own community where crime is going through the roof in the white community, but nobody is talking about fighting crime over there, right? Fight crime everywhere else. This is why nobody respects your law. This is why nobody will ever respect it. It don't matter how many people you shoot and kill. Nobody is going to respect your laws. Nick Rogers, the president of the Denver Police Protective Association, told lawmakers that he repeatedly experiences a familiar story. He arrests an undocumented immigrant for alleged dealing heroines. And then months later, he arrests the same suspect again, this time in a different fake ID. The uh, city sanctuary policy, he said, has created a city that is much less safe than it was prior to the sanctuary ordinance. I don't agree with that. Look, I did a story last week on a white drug dealer that got arrested multiple times got caught with tons of heroin and he gets drug court for the second time. So don't tell me this is the root cause of the opioid problem. It most certainly is not. No. In interviews with local media, Denver Police Chief Matt Murray has disputed some of Roger's argument. He clearly doesn't understand the training or ordinance, Murray said, um, told Denver CBS4. No, no. It, ladies and gentlemen, just watch what they're doing. They're trying to shift all of the blame off of primarily the white community that's on the opioids and now trying to blame the sanctuary cities for all of the opioid problem that's going on in America. And it's simply not true. It's not true. But now you can see how they always transfer the blame off of themselves for the things that they're doing and put it on other people. The black community know this better than anyone. Everything that's wrong with them gets transferred and, and blamed onto our community. Okay, Democrats on the committee criticized the premise of the hearing. Um, they're saying there's no factual basis in connecting so-called sanctuary city policies with the opioid plague. It would be laughable if it weren't so serious, if it weren't so hurtful to the characterization of immigrants across the country. Republican witnesses 
have countered by Keith Humphreys, a Stanford psychiatry professor who served as a drug policy advisor under President George W. Bush and Barack Obama. Opioid addiction and overprescription, not immigration and sanctuary city policies are the root of the plague. Thank you. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. This was your white doctors being racist and overprescribing to white people and underprescribing to black people because you still under that slavery belief that black people don't feel no pain. That's what caused your epidemic. There's no sanctuary city that caused this shit. Get out of here, man. People don't take responsibility for nothing. And the root of the plague, he said, prescription opioids come from American companies as prescribed by American doctors, which they mean white, overseen by American regulators. That's right. I agree with that 100%. American, the American opioid plague is America's fault. Okay, and he's right. You go from the doctors to people that regulate the drugs and the policies in this nation, and even your lawmakers are the ones responsible for this shit. Arresting heroin dealers from other nations will thus never eliminate the root of the problem. I agree with that a thousand percent. Okay, so now it says Harvard criminologist Thomas App told Mother Jones that there is no evidence to suggest that sanctuary policies are fueling the plague. And regardless, such policies don't stop law enforcement from targeting and imprisoning drug dealers, except for the ones with long rap sheets <laughs> and still selling drugs and they get drug court instead of prison multiple times. This hearing appears to be another in the ongoing effort to tie public safety challenges like violent crime and opioids to the administration anti-immigration agenda. Yeah, you know, they're going to just use that as an excuse to now raid the sanctuary. Oh, they're doing the opi. They're causing the opioids. No, they're not. No, they're not. You would have to prove that they started this 20 years ago because that's when it started. 20 years in, now it's the sanctuary cities. You're just figuring it out 20 years later. Give me a break. Then, you, then your IQ definitely isn't high. Well, we already know it's not high, but it wouldn't be high if you just figured this out 20 years later. Not high anyway. Studies have repeatedly supported the public health orientation approach to the plague, one that emphasizes reduced opioid prescription rates and increasing access to treatment and the overdose reversal drug Norloxone. But Attorney General Jeff Sessions has taken a law enforcement focus approach reminiscent of the war on drugs, which was a flop, encouraging mandatory minimum sentences for even low level drug offenders. And he's talking about marijuana when he makes that statement and giving dozens of speeches connecting opioid overdose to violent crime and immigration. Trump and Sessions are uh, crime dinosaurs using outdated approach to crime policy that lack evidence and effectiveness, said App. Honestly, sometimes it seems as if they fell asleep in the early 90s and just woke up. <laughs> He's right about that. You know, this whole thing is a disaster, y'all, and they can't clean it up. And instead of trying to 
put the blame where it really belongs, they will blame everything and anyone else other than putting that blame on themselves where it really truly belong. And and this blaming sanctuary cities and oh it's this person's fault. But like I said, they gave the junkies in America immunity. So they're never going to be blamed. And as you can see, there is no articles that put the blame on the junkies. And that's really where it belongs. That's really where it belongs. I don't care how many drugs they are on. They have the ability to seek help. And they have the ability to say no. Just like Nancy Reagan said, y'all need to put them commercials back on. If that was good enough during the crack epidemic, it should be good enough during the opioid plague. Put those ads back on TV. Just say no. Just say no. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell twice. Join me over on Black Junction TV and BlackSpot.com. Peace, family.